everyone. Today we're going to talk about creating and managing multidimensional raster data in ArcGIS Pro. Multidimensional data is data that is collected over multiple times, depths, or heights. And multidimensional raster data is often used in oceanography, climate analysis, and agriculture. ArcGIS Pro provides a suite of tools and capabilities for visualizing, analyzing, and sharing multidimensional raster data. Just look up multidimensional analysis in our help documentation and you'll find prediction tools, change detection tools, and more. But how do you start working with multidimensional raster data and how do you manage it? Well, a lot of organizations already have access to NetCDF, GRIB, or HDF files, but how do we convert that to a format that can be used in ArcGIS Pro? Or maybe you have a stack of images or rasters that have been collected over time, but how do you get that into a format that can be used in our multidimensional analysis tools? There are three main ways to create multidimensional raster data. The first is from a single NetCDF, HDF, or GRIB file. The next is from a collection of those types of data files. And the third is from a stack of images or rasters that have been collected over time. This video will show you how to create a multidimensional raster from a collection of images. In this case, we'll be looking at Landsat images collected over time. Here I have a folder of Landsat 8 scenes that I downloaded from the USGS Earth Explorer website. These scenes were captured for the same location, and I downloaded one per year over a number of years. I want to be able to visualize these as a single multidimensional raster cube and maybe use them for analysis. To do that, we'll start by adding these Landsat images to a Mosaic dataset. We'll create a new Mosaic dataset using the Create Mosaic Dataset tool, give it a name, and since all the imagery is coming from the same sensor, we can provide the product definition and set that to Landsat OLI. Once it's created, we can add rasters using the Add Rasters to Mosaic Dataset tool. The raster type is already set for us because we specified this in the Mosaic dataset itself. We can browse to the folder I showed you that contained subfolders with the Landsat scenes. And we'll make sure to set the processing template to surface reflectance since that's what we're interested in visualizing. You don't have to do this, but to make sure we can display the data effectively, I'll go ahead and build overviews for the dataset and also calculate the raster statistics. Now that this is done, let's zoom to the location of this dataset. If we look at the attribute table for the Mosaic dataset footprint, you can see that all the Landsat scenes were added to the dataset. You can also see that the product name shows surface reflectance, which is that variable that we're interested in. And finally, we can see that the acquisition date is listed for each scene that we added. Despite all that information, this Mosaic dataset is not yet multidimensional aware, so we can't use it in multidimensional analysis or management tools yet. To make it multidimensional aware, we need to add specific multidimensional metadata to the dataset. And we'll do that using the Build Multidimensional Info tool. We will specify the Mosaic dataset, add the variable field that contains that information, which as we saw was the product name, and specify surface reflectance. In the dimension field, we can provide the acquisition date, which is what captures our time and date information. And let's go ahead and click Run. Watch at the top of the project to see what changes when the tool is complete. Once the multidimensional information has been added to the dataset, we can interact with the multidimensional tab at the top of our project, which means we can also interact with the tools available to us for multidimensional info. In the Properties pane, you can see that the multidimensional information is listed with the variable and dimension information. Now from here, we can do things like create a temporal profile where we can specify our dimension values and the variable that we're interested in. And so for example here, let's say I want to track near infrared band surface reflectance over time 
for this location in my map. And I can do it from multiple locations and see how these areas compare. In addition to temporal profiling, I can also interact with this mosaic data set directly in geoprocessing tools. Here you see the analysis pane that contains all the analysis tools I can use. And in the data management dropdown, you can see some of the tools available for a multidimensional mosaic data set. All of the analysis tools generate an output in cloud raster format, which is the Esri native multidimensional format. You can choose to convert your mosaic data set directly to cloud raster format using the copy raster tool. We enter the mosaic data set, give the output raster data set a name and set it to cloud raster format, and check the box to process as multidimensional. Optionally, you can check the box to build multidimensional transpose, which is an efficient st data storage method available only for cloud raster format. When it's done, we have this cloud raster format file that has all of the dimensions and variables of my original data set, but I also have access to these additional management tools like transpose and manage multidimensional rasters. There are a number of other advantages to the cloud raster format, which you can read about in our help documentation. I can also run raster functions on my multidimensional data, whether it's in cloud raster format or using a mosaic data set. So for example, if I want to perform um, an NDVI analysis on each image in my multidimensional raster, I can do that uh, here by running it once and it will generate an output for each slice. It will run that process for each slice in my data set. And so from here, I can visualize each slice over time and you'll see that NDVI was applied to every slice. In this video, we walked through the process of adding a folder of Landsat scenes to a mosaic dataset, then building multidimensional information for the dataset. From there, you can use the mosaic dataset directly in analysis tools, or you can convert it to cloud raster format to get access to additional capabilities. If you have one or more NetCDF, HDF, or GRIB files that you want to use with multidimensional raster tools in ArcGIS Pro, check out the other Creating Multidimensional Raster videos on this channel.